It's our story. Pat Puckett, Atlanta, Georgia. My early life was um, probably fairly typical of, um, of most kids. I had polio when I was two. I spent four months in a, um, what actually was a TB sanatorium that had been converted to a children's hospital because of the polio epidemic. The, 1952 was one of the last major polio epidemics in the country, I think. And so I was taken care of by um, Catholic nuns in this um, hospital, St. John's Hospital for crippled children is what it was then. And um, I don't remember any of it. My earliest memory that has anything to do with disability was when I was probably three, maybe four, when the, my mom would get the other kids off to school. She would um, put me on the kitchen table and we would do physical therapy. And so my earliest memory is her trying to find me, like I would crawl under the bed and hide and I would get in the closet you know, put cover, put put quilts and stuff over me so she couldn't see me. <laughs> Kept trying to hide from the physical therapy. So that's my earliest disability-related memory is trying to hide from doing the therapy. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.